Hello, welcome back to Blender Sushi Live Noting. In this episode, we're gonna take a look at Metaballs once again, but we're gonna focus on the Metaballs um, materials and how it looks. Currently with Metaballs, I think Blender Metaballs doesn't actually, um, it doesn't not respect the object um, color, uh, which means that if you have like Metaballs with a red color and another Metaballs with blue color, it doesn't blend or mix unless there's a different way to do it. Um, I'm proposing that I think there are two ways to do it. First one is by using dynamic paints and while the other one is using the um, blenders, cycles, um, points, um, what do they call it? Points coloring? Um, let me switch to cycles real quick. Point density. Yeah, that's the one. Let's have a look at the uh, point density. I think with the uh, with the other one using dynamic paint, we can have more control over the color. Let's say you have like a metaballs with a certain radius and another metaballs with certain radius, and you kind of just want to blend the two together. You can do that using dynamic paint. I think not many people know that or even try to do that. I think it's a uh, it can be interesting, but for now, just let's try point density we might actually use square chalk as well to do that but let's have a look um, so what's the plan here let's not have too my too many uh, object here not too many meta balls let's delete uh, this guy delete. we can keep the this one So currently, I let's give it a color, and then let's look at the render. We need a uh, ambient, maybe just turn on ambient occlusion, and it looks like this. Okay, it's a uh, not so interesting. Um, we need a way to colorize this guy, and I'm thinking, okay, we might need to use scratch up because even though you have another, you can have another object, you know with a vertex color and then to kind of influence the color of metaballs. Um, in reality, we want to have access to the metaballs itself and randomize the points, each point of the metaballs, right? How do we do that? Um, we use Spreadshop. Okay, this is a Spreadshop randomized metaball color. Let's, um, let's source the metaball. <clears throat> objects in metaballs get selections this is our metaball if we use um, square chop we can preview the result it's like uh, somewhere there you can use matrix apply so that the points has the transformation applied so now we have this guy on the on the position this guy will just be like a ghosted object. We don't need to see it. We don't need to render it out. It's just a uh, need to be there. D mesh MK2. And let's output this guy and this guy. So we have the gamma. This is a gamma. Let's merge it. This is a gamma object. And, uh, whoops, okay. Blender just crashes. It's a. Uh, I don't know, it could be my MacBook Pro because my, I'm using the better, <coughs> better version of the Mac OS always. Let's reopen Blender real quick. But I don't worry, I'll always save it every time. Um, yeah, so the idea is you have like a, the real meta balls and then the output of the meta balls. And using spare chop, you can have the gamma, okay? With the gamma, you can colorize it using random vertices for uh, for now, just random for now. But you can always control it using anything you like. Here, let's use a vertex color, vertex color new. Plug in the object output. The gamma goes in there, so the gamma needs to know 
um, and then we, we can colorize the gamma by the vertices or the face or the loop this is the interesting bit okay if you use random color your random number generator I'm gonna use random number generator for now the hard way instead of random vector let's see let's do it like this plug this guy in there the size should match the number of vertices get listen debug oops not debug stethoscope okay 1228 that's the number of points or on the on the metaballs. Plug this into the size. So we have the RGB color for the vertices. It doesn't have alpha, luckily. Ah, oh. oh, wow. So looks like updating the timeline, kind of crashing Blender. It's really weird. I tried it when I was not recording and it worked. Or maybe it's a maybe it's a bug. Anyway, we have color. Inside the gamma, if you select the gamma, we have SV color. Okay, but we're not gonna be rendering the SV gamma. We're gonna delete I mean not we're not gonna be displaying it. We want to transfer the gamma vertex color into our metaball. So luckily, let's render this guy out with the material. So we're gonna have to work with uh, cycles a little bit. Select the gamma, plug the color into the color. Currently it's just blank. Let's use emission. We're not seeing anything. We are not coloring using particle system point density. We're gonna be using object vertices. We're gonna be using world space. Ah, there you go. That's a good sign. Uh, use SV color. If you can use vertex normal, a resolution. Let's reduce it to twenty-five. You can turn on the interpolation. So between between the points it has some kind of uh, influence that you can control closest linear or cubic i think cubic is the best kind of smooth transitions between colors we're gonna be using the vertex color though which is this guy back to sphere chalk uh, hopefully this doesn't crash randomize the seed Oh, okay, this uh, should be float. That's why it's weird. Float, value, RGB, all random. You just need to update it, but I'm afraid scrubbing is, it might crash Blender again. Vertex or oh, loop? Okay, vertex. Did I forget? anything maybe the index from what I know we don't need to worry about the index it just will just do the thing now let me check with the stethoscope ah yeah, there you go that's updating one two three one three just RGB color should be okay I think I just need to go back to the material of the metaballs and increase the radius. There we go. Now we have random noise. You might think that, okay, with a noise, metaballs, and color. You see? 
you can have noise you know if you use noise texture this is a procedural texture that comes with a blender for cycles of course it does generate something that looks similar and metaballs will have that cool look however this one really comes from each vertices of the metaballs um, next in the next video i think i will try i will attempt to i'll attempt to um, have like a metaballs radius which is will be controlled by and, and the color which will be controlled by the um, uh, the radius of dynamic paint brush it's gonna be a little bit more complicated but i think it's worth worth trying anyway so that's a uh, start to get nice as I increase the resolutions but oh man it's crashing again unfortunately it's a uh, it's weird mm. let's restart blender again I think I didn't save it this time but I didn't make much changes anyway save yes. maybe I'm doing too much I think I did save it. I cannot scrub. Should be able to scrub. We can uh, with this setup. You see, if we go to the to the meta balls, randomize the meta ball. It should change. It. Oh, actually, I'm controlling the other meta balls. Well, I didn't save. Um, I didn't save the other one, unfortunately. Um, but I, I, have, I think I have a backup. So remember, in the previous live noting, we have points and we have the face. For the meta balls, I didn't save the one for the beta meta ball. Uh, huh? Interesting. Scratch off sometimes didn't turn on this fake user button, so when you reopen Blender, it's gone. Be careful with that. Um, anyhow, we still have control over this little this other meta balls. See the color is changing. It's our our gamma doesn't seem to update. Maybe because I'm selecting a different meta ball. I select this meta balls and go to this guy. Now it does update. Here we go. It's a it's a glowing meta balls. And by the way, this is a something that emits. I turn off ambient occlusion and turn off the strength of the environment this can be the our lava lamp a colorful one Maybe 0.7 oh too bright it's kind of nice looking uh, a bit strong Density. Density have effect on that. I think um, like a meta balls volume even more interesting. I guess but that's a uh, that's our glowing lava lamp. Uh, we can have control over the linear once again linear closest 
closest give you like a this pixelated look. Linear is pretty okay. Vertex weight, we don't use weight. Normal color. What else can we play around with? Vector. Maybe if you use a noise vector into the vector. No, that's not a good idea. Mm, mapping. Maybe random. Well, anyway, it's a. Uh, that's how we might want to um, colorize metaballs using Squarechop. It's probably something that's never been done before. Maybe some people try to do it using script, but this is all live. If we go back to Squarechop, it might crash, but it's worth trying. I need to scrub, I think. See, I need to update. If I hit the timeline, it updates itself. It's kind of nice. All these metaballs kind of... Uh, they have a... They have connection with each other. So if you say if I use frame number here and plug it into the scale, let's go to frame zero and then kind of scrub through the timeline we can see our meta balls kind of growing growing and start to separate itself but it has color it's almost like a lava lamp uh, but with lava lamp normally you have just a single color right so this is definitely more interesting of course with meta balls you can increase the resolutions to have a smoother result Currently it goes, it becomes too bright somehow. Why is that? Diffuse. Too strong the color. Other oh, radius apparently. All sort of uh, values kind of affecting each other. If I keep scrubbing. I gotta save this real quick. Probably give you all these uh, spare job nodes. Um, currently, the the number, the color is keep changing because it's random. But if they are less random, um, I think I will attempt one more, a little bit more complex uh, setup where you use a dynamic paint, brush, and canvas to influence the meta ball. But the result on that is like each meta balls can have its own color. That's uh, the color is not changing. What's changing is the how it blends. Um, dynamic paints is capable of blending color, so that's a uh, it's gonna be interesting. Uh, anyway, this is uh, for the live noting today. I'll, if you have any feedbacks, comments.